Hey guys, my name is Tom. This is my friend Pinko. How you doing? And in this video, I am going to show you how to find the dot product of unit vectors with themselves. So what we mean specifically is the following. Always, always keep reviewing. So first we draw a little coordinate system. And this one is three-dimensional because we are dealing with I, J, and K. Okay, that's our three-dimensional coordinate system. Mark this X, Y, and Z. Let's mark some unit vectors to be sure we still remember what they are. So the unit vector along the x-axis is a vector that goes from the origin and whose length is positive, well, whose length is 1, right? That is that. And we label that conveniently with the letter I, with an arrow above it. Okay? Then, along the y-axis, we have another unit vector. It looks like this. Its length is also 1. I'm drawing this one orange over here. And that one is j. And then along the last axis, or the z-axis, we have a third unit vector, whose length is also, again, 1. Uh, roughly here, and this is what we call the vector k. Okay. So you have three vectors, i, j, and k. And now let's take a look at finding the dot products of i with i and so on. i with i. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So let's begin. i dotted with i is by definition the dot product of these two vectors, 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0. Now you apply the definition of the dot product by components, so that means 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0, and all that comes out is the number 1. That's it. So i dotted with itself is 1. Now let's apply it to the j. J dotted with J is, by definition, and even notice here that I wrote two-dimensional vectors because I and J are normally associated with just, you know, unless you get into more advanced math, with just the XY coordinate plane. Okay, so I did that just to kind of, you know, remind you, but really I should have written after this zero, another zero, and then another zero after that second zero. Okay? So I'll do that with the j's here, okay? That j, think of it this way. It's defined to be 0, comma, 1, comma, 0. And you're dotting this with 0, comma, 1, comma, 0, okay? You know, when you do this long enough, you realize how silly this stuff is. It's all made up, basically. You just have to memorize it and then... Okay, now you apply the definition of the dot product. That means the first 0 times this 0. And you add to it the 1 times the 1. And then you add to that 0 times 0. And all that remains at the end is the number 1. Okay? So j dotted with j is just 1. Just as i dotted with i is 1. It doesn't matter whether you're talking about a 2D vector or a 3D vector. And now let's take a look at the k. dotted with k with itself is the following 0 comma 0 comma 1 and you're dotting this with 0 comma 0 comma 1 and this is now apply the definition 0 times 0 is that then plus another 0 times another 0 plus another 1 times 1 which is just guess what 1 so this is another 1 that's it so these unit vectors, each one dotted with itself, is 1, 1, and 1. Okay? Now, these are the dot products. Okay, what if you dot them with, for example, what happens if you dot i and i? Or i and j, well, we know i and i. What about i and j, i and k, and then j and k? So I said that very fast. Let's see, this is what I mean. 
Imagine say the dot product of i with j. So we write these down as follows. The i is, and now we write the three-dimensional version of i, the three components. And we are dotting this with the j, which looks like this, 0, 1, 0. And then you apply the definition of the dot product, which is 1 times 0, so the 1 blue times the orange 0 here, plus the 0 blue times the orange 1. I'm color coding this as much as possible, because I know when you first see it, it can seem overwhelming, because the fact is a lot of these definitions are arbitrary. You would not know them, you just have to memorize them. They're just made up. And the last one now is somebody made them up, so you just got to know, you know, adjust to the fact. Zero times zero, like that, okay? Now, of course, they turn out to have all kinds of very nice and useful properties, but they're still made up. Okay. One times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero, and then zero times zero is zero. That means that the whole thing is... Zero. Okay. So I dotted with a J is zero, and guess what? J dotted with I is also zero. J dotted with K is zero. I dotted with K is zero. So that's the case of, that's just how you find these basic dot products for unit vectors along the coordinate axes. Okay, so remember, review, review, review. This is a coordinate system, x, y, and z. These are unit vectors because each one has a length of 1. The letters we usually represent them are i, j, and k. They look as shown in the picture. Make sure you are drawing pictures the whole time. If you're not drawing pictures, understanding will always be elusive. Okay. Draw a picture. Color code it for yourself carefully. And then you see it, then it's undeniable, right? Then you really see it. Then you have your I dotted with I is positive 1. J dotted with J is 1. K dotted with K is 1. I dotted with J, as I've shown you here, is 0. And then, of course, the other facts are these. That J dotted with K also equals zero. And lastly, the fact to know is I dotted with K also equals zero. That's it. That's how you find the basic dot products of the unit vectors with themselves, and then these are the results. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smile, and remember, if you want to understand, it's not so hard. Draw some pictures, color code them, and that's it. Thank you for watching.